Oh, no, it didn't. <laughs> broke, broke, broke the coupler again. Oh. Light didn't come on. Yeah, you got full speed of one. Put it where I can dump it. I can't do it with one two hands. Oh god. Well, we've determined that the Santa Fe Flyer is a piece of junk. It's uh, very poorly made. Uh, it is a kid's toy, I guess. Uh, it's, the cars are very flimsy compared to uh, Bachman cars. So it is the lower grade, toy grade set. And it's got all these signs and things, but they need to be painted. Uh, and everything needs to be glued. So it is kind of maybe for a boot beginner layout get more signs than you really need but um uh, the station's pretty neat do get these little signs that you can put on there and yeah, move those tank cars there that tank car off of that yeah, no, yeah he turned it upside down there you go so that you can put on the side of the uh you got all the we put the little billboards there i broke the coupler it looks like on the train now you get the three vintage cars in these beautiful colors here, maroon, blue, and kind of a greenish color. There's the log unloading station. Basically, you get the log car there, and that, that piece right there goes up and knocks it over. So let's look at the train cars you get. You got your Santa Fe locomotive, which has pretty much been standards for as long as I can remember this type of F units and like all these train sets. 
And here's the ACY Road of Service, serving Ohio and the nation. So not just Ohio, it's the nation. And then we got our next car, Wilson. Wilson Carlin. Is that what your basketball came in? Wilson. Also known for saving people stranded on a deserted island. Inglehard ACFX tank car. Here is the Forest Lumber Company. Um, and then the Santa Fe ATNSF Caboose. Now it's interesting, it's like all made up names there, is what it seems like to me. I don't know, you tell me. All right, now let's do the Forest Lumber Company unloading station. Wonderful. And then, uh oh, then we get done. We I guess you gotta let the thing go back or the caboose will get hung on it and cause it to derail. Nice. Which is always a lot of fun. Maybe it'll derail itself. Oh no, it didn't. Broke, broke, broke the coupler again. So the coupler likes to pop out here when the train derails, but it's pretty easy to put back in. And they do give you two spare couplers. Uh, we haven't completely broke it yet. It derails real easy. The reason it derailed earlier is because I didn't turn the lever back here so after I unloaded it, so the caboose got caught. On the giant snake thing. Yeah, that the comes out of there. And this is what happens when you try to put the coupler back on wheels come off. It's a train wreck. To the wheels, the metal part needs to go on the inside of the wheels. You need to squeeze it. Oh, I see. You know that gray train we usually use in the videos? Mm -hmm. We've had that longer, and this is, we've only had this for like 10 minutes and it's already broke. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get the coupler back in. Yeah, it's not going to work. Yeah, I Alright, so I think we got it back together. Let's see if it'll work now. <gasps> I don't believe it. It's working. So it can take the abuse we give it. Awesome. Nice. 
nice. Hornby doesn't do good with those other... See that? It drains the energy. All right. 